A phasing burn to lower its orbit and line the spacecraft up with its targeted landing location. Then the action starts to pick up pace with trunk separation, closure of the nose cone, a deorbit burn, re-entry, deployment of the Drogon main parachutes, and then finally splash down off the coast of California. The crew will then get picked up at sea by one of SpaceX's recovery vessels. And at that point, the Axiom 4 crew will undergo, undergo their first medical checks while aboard the recovery vessel before flying on that helicopter back to land. And from there, the crew will be flown to Houston, Texas, where they'll be reunited with their teams. And this welcome home moment, in many ways, will mark the conclusion of the operational phases of this mission. And guiding us through the action today as Dragon Depart Station is Anna Schneider with NASA Communications at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. How's it going, Anna? Hey, Jesse and John, it's good to be with both of you and welcome to Mission Control Houston at NASA's Johnson Space Center. We're currently live in the International Space Station Flight Control Room where the Orbit One team of flight controllers are being led by NASA Flight Director Allison Bollinger. Earlier this morning, we brought you live coverage of hatch closure, during which the Axiom Mission 4 crew suited up, re-entered Dragon, and closed the hatch between the International Space Station and the Dragon spacecraft. That hatch closure took place at 4.07 a.m. Central, 5.07 a.m. Eastern. Since that time, the process to depressurize the area between the Dragon hatch and the APAS hatch on station known as the vestibule took place and was recently completed. And now we're waiting undocking in just a little bit, and we will be looking ahead to the go, no-go poll for undocking here in just a few minutes, around 5.50 a.m. Central, 6.50 a.m. Eastern. This final go, no-go poll is where the joint SpaceX and NASA teams make their final call for Dragon to depart the space station. This is one of many checkpoints in that return that will continue all the way up until just before the deorbit burn, giving mission managers multiple chances to assess the weather at the splashdown zones and make sure everything is looking good before Dragon departs. The Axiom Mission 4 crew members, Peggy Whitson, Shubanshu Shukla, Swavosh Uznainski Vishnevsky, and Tibor Kapu are now suited up and standing by for undocking to begin their journey back home to Earth. So again, we'll continue to stand by for that final go, no go poll in just a couple of minutes. But for now, everything continuing to look good for today's undocking and departure of Axiom Mission 4. Right, so you can see those visuals on your screen. The entire Axiom 4 crew is now uh, suited up and uh, belted into uh, the Dragon X uh, spacecraft, uh, just waiting the undocking procedure, which will take place in the next 10 minutes. And as uh, we also saw that the Johnson Space Center in Houston is also ready uh, for the entire procedure to start uh, because the they will uh, splash down at about 3 p.m. Uh, tomorrow after making that uh, journey from the ISS uh, to the uh, uh, to back to Earth Team from the Hawthorne, ISS. Hawthorne, California to conduct their final go-no-go -go poll on whether to move forward with the undocking procedure. Now, just like during its approach to the International Space Station, Dragon's departure and deorbit is designed to be fully autonomous, requiring no action from the crew on board. The undock command will be sent at 6 a.m. Central, 7 a.m. Eastern to begin that autonomous sequence. The first step in the un autonomic, automatic undocking sequence is for the umbilicals to retract. These umbilicals connect Dragon systems to the space station, transferring power, telemetry, and commands between the two vehicles throughout Dragon's stay. Once that complete, Dragon will unlatch itself from the space station by releasing the 12 hard capture hooks in two separate phases. All of that combined will take roughly four and a half minutes and then Dragon will be ready to depart from the space station and begin to push itself further and further away using its thrusters.
But as you can see those visuals on your screen, the Dragon X capsule is ready for undocking. The entire crew is there, including Group Captain Shubhanshu Shukla, also the Johnson Space Center in Houston, also uh, ready uh, for the undocking procedure, which will kick off in the next uh, 10 minutes as uh, the capsule undocks uh, from the ISS and heads back to Earth. The splashdown is expected about 3 p.m. Uh, tomorrow. I'm also joined by Shristi Chaudhary on the broadcast, who's been tracking all the developments coming in uh, from this entire space sojourn of Group Captain Shukla. The last 18 days, Shristi, have been uh, extremely exciting. A lot of uh, uh, leaps being made by the Indian space uh, program. But as uh, we had our fingers crossed during the docking session, now the undocking also uh, being met with that same kind of thrill, but a lot of variables at play that the astronauts have to dot their uh, I's and cross their T's before undocking from the ISS. Uh, definitely, and this is the most crucial step. And once the uh, undocking is completed, then we can really announce that the return journey for Axiom Mission 4 has actually begun. Now, this undocking uh, sequence is completely uh, automated and uh, there's no co crew control here. So, uh, Dragon uh, uh, spacecraft in which uh, the four crew members are traveling has this automated sequence where it can completely, uh, you know, take over docking as well as undocking. And within the next few minutes, we'll get some more visuals from NASA really announcing if uh, the undocking has been completed. Once this uh, is done, then there'll be, uh, I think, three to four departure burns. Uh, departure burns is when the spacecraft actually fires its engine to move away from the International Space Station in order to, uh, you know, so that it actually reaches a different orbit than the International Space Station so that both the spacecrafts actually do not collide. And within the next 22 hours, we'll see that it actually also lowers its orbit and gears up uh, for uh, re-entering into the Earth's atmosphere, which is the final uh, step for this entire mission. Now, this re-entry is expected to take place tomorrow afternoon, Indian Standard Time. And uh, if all goes well, and everything should go well, by 3 p.m., uh, all the four crew members uh, about the Dragon spacecraft will splash down off the California coast. Uh, the entire mission timeline is completely dependent on the weather conditions which the NASA team as well as the SpaceX and Axiom Space have been con constantly monitoring. As of now, everything looks good and everything is going per as per the timeline. Right. Thank you, Shristi, for getting us uh, that update. Uh, let's go back to our guest, ladies and gentlemen, when it comes to decoding uh, this entire moment in India's uh, space journey. Dr. P.K. Ghosh, you were making that point about India's uh, sojourn in space and the evolution of the space program. Please complete what you were saying. Uh, yes, I think, um, now I'll go back. Uh, I was also waiting for uh, the final Earth control station once they start undocking, because that's the final one which will tell them that yes, but having said that, uh, let me come back to what I was saying. You know, this is a very significant step for us because uh, if you see all, uh, some of the other countries, of course, uh, Russia, China, China has gone Tiangong, and the International Space Station, they've all got these space stations in uh, space, basically in LEOs, while we still haven't got one and we are waiting for Gaganyan to come up so that we can make that project a success. Right, we'll try to reconnect uh, with our guests over there. But uh, that is the, those are the visuals coming in uh, when it comes to the undocking procedure, which is set to uh, kick off uh, in the next uh, six minutes as we uh, count down to this entire uh, space journey of Sh Sh Group Captain Shubhantu Shukla back uh, to Earth. And uh, now in the next six mi minutes, the undocking uh, will uh, take uh, place uh, as uh, India uh, marks this giant leap in its space uh, journey. SK Dhaka also continues to be with us on the broadcast. So, so as we were pointing out the different variables which are at play, but uh, this is a completely automated process. Uh, uh, three to four burns to uh, create that distance between the Dragon capsule and the ISS and then the journey begins back to Earth. So a really tight window when it comes to weather conditions and the conditions for splashdown as well. So a lot of calculations going into this entire return process. Uh, something that uh, uh, everyone has seen uh, several times, but the amount of work and the mammoth calculations that take place behind such procedures is something not the layman uh, not the layman is not aware of to a great extent yeah, yeah uh, thank you once again and i think if you recall 
a few months before uh, Sonita Williams' uh, arrival, and that was uh, the, the splash. Probably many of us remember that means in the Pacific area, and then there was like parachute uh, coming up uh, before just landing, and it was that was a safe landing. So probably the similar kind of the situations we are having tomorrow in the afternoon at uh, 3 p.m. So we are all really excited if everything goes fine, the weather conditions allows perfectly, and which seems to be quite okay right now without having any much problem. So the undocking uh, is going to start very, very soon, that maybe after a few minutes. We are really all excited, as you mentioned, that it is a fully automated system, and then the, we are not going to do anything. And except the few burns, and the burns are basically, they are taking, in place just to separate this missing different sequence and the speed will uh, keep on increasing so that the, the the collision things can be avoided and it has to go to the different orbit slowly slowly and which will come by tomorrow like it will take the entire journey about like 22 hours or so so we are hoping all the best and that things are really uh, coming in a big way right and sk dhaka when it comes to uh, the uh the kind of entire debrief of this entire uh, uh, mission uh, where uh, Shubhanshu Shukla clearly has learnt a lot about uh, being in space, existing in space. Uh, decode for us the kind of lessons that the Indian space program will get after this 18-day mission to the ISS. Absolutely. I Absolutely. Because we are going to get a lot of information and experiences uh, from uh, uh, Group Captain uh, Shukla and because he has done a lot of experiments there. So these experiments results purely, they are going to support us our Indian Space Research Organization programs. And Gaganyan is one of them because the longest of like 18 days is going to help a lot. How we can survive what the changes in the body uh, is taking place during this procedure, space agriculture, and there are many more things which he has conducted. We would really excited to, to love that, what are the results? And especially one of the best, probably the experiments would be for the diabetic patients, whether they can go. So he also conducted some of the experiments. So those results are going to be really very, very good for us. Uh, we are hoping. In addition, of course, uh, in total, there were 60 experiments, but there were about uh, six, seven experiments which Shukla is supposed to conduct himself. And he seems to be very, very happy to, to share means I have seen some of the visuals yesterday and day before yesterday that um, he conducted very good uh, really experiments successfully and is going to show us that what are the new results for, for us. Yeah. Absolutely. And now uh, what we're learning is that uh, to get that perfect window to undock from the International Space Station, undocking will now take place at 4.45 p.m. So uh, in the next uh, 13 minutes is when that undocking procedure will kick off. And as you can see, those are the visuals from inside the Dragon capsule as it is attached to the ISS. And in the next 13 minutes, the undocking procedure will begin. As uh, my colleague Shristi was also pointing out, this is a completely automated process. Network 18 decimates Times Internet with over six times more unique users on social media. Network 18, the undisputed leader of news networks, way ahead of the times.